Hello everyone, welcome back to Walsy World, episode 2. This is my creative build in Space Engineers. I'm building a theme park. Last time we showed off the front entrance, which I've painted a little bit now. Uh, you should have seen that in the screenshot. Um, but uh, yep, yeah, Walsy World. Blue and gray theme will be our, our main colors. And I've changed the Ferris wheel a little bit. Um, it wasn't big enough. <laughs> so I made it twice as tall. Oh my goodness, it's huge now. And I didn't have quite enough room in between um, the, the the things, so that as this spun around, you know, it, it hung fine. Um, but as soon as you sp spin around, it was gonna bonk, bonk on the I don't know, the strut, whatever. So with the three wide, I have a lot more room. So I made it a little bit wider and twice as tall. <laughs> So let's work. Oh, and then I hollowed out this point. Now this will allow me to hang this thing down and the rider can just come right here uh, and just walk on uh, and it'll kind of go down and, you know, and go back up. So that means we have a height of one, two, three. So our seats need to be somewhere on this fourth block down. That's how we're going to, um, what we, what we need to create. Now what I was looking at here is I've got some new mods. Um, I needed some better seats. If you just look at like the passenger seat or the cockpit, it's so tiny. And if you try and put like multiple of them, they're like way spread out. So I didn't want to use these. So I went and looked for some other seats. Um, there's the Regent chair, which actually is pretty decent. Um, putting next to each other. I might, I'll probably use this for some of my other rides. Uh, Still is not as close together as I would like, but hey, it's a lot better than than the other chair. So the Regent chair is pretty cool. Um, I got Darth Vader chair, the Emperor's, or I guess that's the Emperor's chair, but um, that one, I uh, don't really like the look of it. Maybe I'll use it some other place. Um, but then I went and found a decorative pack called Icasters. And he's got benches, which just fits in perfect for what I would like to do with the Ferris wheel. So if we do, let's see, where did I put his stuff? Here's a bench here. And I do something like, remember we've got three across, so I can go all the way over here. And so we'll have kind of a circle thing. And then the flat benches, I can do like this. So then I'll have an opening where you'll walk on and this can hold tons of people. Well, seven people to be exact. Um, or is it one, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Yeah, seven people. Now I gotta figure out some way to make this look decent when it's uh, on the actual Ferris wheel. So let's get rid of the benches here. And for that, I think what I'm gonna try is these um, interior pillars. I use these, I've been using these a lot. But I think it, they're so skinny, they look good. If there was like a, um, I guess it would be a pillar in you know, Minecraft terms, which is this is it. It's just like a block pillar that's like one fourth the size and was in the middle of the block, that would be cool. But this is as close as I get. And then I think down here at the bottom, um, I will put something like, uh, you know what I want to do? I want to build this outside of the Ferris wheel so I can copy paste it. So let's do that. We'll do a uh, just build out from here for a little bit and then just build up. I don't want to build it too far. I don't want it to fall. Let's see. So the base, one, two, three, and then this will be where it hangs from. Okay. So let's do one, two, three, and then a normal block. And then we'll make it look, you know, mimic the uh, the couches. So just wrap around like this. I swear in the latest version of Space Engineers, the blocks now remember their previous orientation. I don't remember them doing that. All right, so that will be where all the couches go. So let's go ahead and put those on here. There's not going to be a lot of safety railings in this park. 
<laughs> so we're just going to trust the user not to kill themselves. Or, well, that's not what I meant to do. But yeah, this, uh, this couch is going to be... Oh, come on. Very useful in a lot of rides. So here we go. That'll be uh, how, we, how we ride around. So let's go ahead and trim this puppy off. Oh, don't break. Okay. And now we can copy it. And now hopefully we can paste this on to these guys. It's not... Uh, yeah, I was afraid of that. Okay. So here's how I learn better ways to copy paste. Is you just kind of frame where you want to put this thing. And then line, it'll be easier to line it up against it. So we should be able just to push it against this, maybe. Come on, attach. Sometimes you gotta hit B. Whoa. Come on. Come on. There it goes. <laughs> cool. So that put it right exactly where I wanted it. And now I can just get rid of those. There we go. So now I can sit in here and look around and watch watch the beautiful ride. Or I can walk around if I'd rather do that. I was wondering if there was there was like a like a half gate or something that maybe just like slid to the side. That would be really cool to put in here. But I couldn't find one in the, the searching that I did. So let's talk rotors. Um, I screwed up majorly in the first episode when I, I thought I was interpreting reverse to mean inverse. Like, so one would go one way and one would go the other way, and that's, that was, that was stupid. That was not what they do at all. <laughs> that just means reverse the, the current speed, and so they had speed zero, it was doing nothing. So what I need to do instead is I have these, um, the Ferris wheel axle here is this uh, Ferris wheel, uh, it's two rotors, right? One of them I need to power, and the other one I need to set to have no torque, so it just spins freely, and that way all it's doing is really support supporting uh, the weight a little bit and a lot of just aesthetic <laughs> so i have this first rotor set to max torque max brake and that's the one i'll actually turn on when i want to spin it and then the other one here the ferris wheel axer rotor free that one has no torque no brake and no velocity so that reverse is worthless and i don't know why i even try to do that so I can come to here and we can give this thing a velocity of one. I remember that was pretty quick. Uh, but we'll notice <laughs> that if we were to actually ride in our, our thing here that we put in here. Oh, let me on, let me on. Uh-oh, we're going upside down. <laughs> this This could be a cool ride, but... We don't have any safety restraints, so we would have died right there, right? If we get out and turn our uh, thing off, we're like, ah! Okay, so we need to do something about those two. So let's go ahead and sit in the seat again. Uh, we'll go ahead and turn this off for a sec. And let's um, get all the other rotors here. And all I should have to do is turn their torque and brake all the way down and zero velocity. That should just allow them to be acted by gravity you know so whatever gravity is pulling down they'll just kind of do that so let's hide them as well we can hide all these benches i don't need to see those oops and uh yeah so now if we turn this back on sometimes it takes a little while to it to affect there you go it's it's swinging like crazy but it should settle down eventually and uh, and stop the spinning. Let's see if we can ride it. Whee! Oh man, <laughs> I'm getting dizzy. Woohoo! Oh, I'm so happy how this is turning out, guys. It's really making me excited for the rest of the uh, uh, the rides that we make. We're gonna make like teacups that spin around as it goes around. We're gonna make um, like airplanes that kind of fly around and you can go up and down like the kitty rides. Uh, Oh, we're gonna have so much fun. Still, still looking for user submissions. I'm, I'm filming this before the other one went public, so I haven't got your guys' submissions yet. But yeah, this is perfect. It's, it's swinging a little bit more than I would like. It's making me dizzy, actually. <laughs> so I'm gonna get out of here. And let's just make sure it doesn't clip this. It should be perfect. 
So as it goes by, you're gonna have to run a pretty fast. Oh no, we missed it. So we're gonna have to turn down that speed quite a bit so users can actually get on. Wow, this is amazing. It's huge. You don't you don't really notice the scale until you see the size of a passenger and what it would look like. Yeah, you can see that one. That one's just hanging down perfectly. Cool. All right, well, I think the next thing then is for me to add um, additional struts. You can see I've started them here. I'm gonna add them at 30 degrees and 60 degrees. So those will go out. And then wherever those line up on the actual um, circle, the outside, I'll put more buckets. Um, so that we'll have a total of, what, eight buckets? No, one, two, three, four, five, six, 12 buckets, yeah. 12 buckets to ride in. And then let's see how that looks. So I'll be right back, guys. Alrighty, guys, check it out. We've got these struts. I've started, I smoothed them out. Um, a lot of them anyway. I haven't completely finished. Um, those ones were being blocked by the big support pillars. Um, so I'm going to have to wait, you know, stop it now where it's spun out of the way and then fix that part. Um, but let's give it a little ride. Now it's, it's only spinning at half a revolution per minute. So we should be able to, to get on one of these as they come by. I'm gonna have to maybe put a half slab here so you can get out a little bit faster. Why isn't it going all the way down? Oh, those ones. <laughs> maybe I didn't put them in the right spot. Oh well. These ones are a little more tricky to get onto. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> all right, I'll wait, wait till it comes around. I think in a traditional Ferris wheel, there's kind of like a ramp here so you can load three at a time because they kind of have to stop to get on, but. There we go. So we're on. Uh, we don't need no seatbelt. We are we're dare, daredevils. Um, and as you can see, I, look how small my guy is compared to this thing. <laughs> um, but yeah, because we have that free will, the free rotors here that don't have any torque at all. They just kind of, um, I just kind of hang here with gravity, and it's always level. So it swings a little bit every once in a while, and you do get a little bit of vertigo <laughs> if you're like me and and are scared of heights. So um yeah this is this is kind of fun <laughs> going around you can watch all the other people nice oh i'm loving it okay so the next thing to do i need to fix uh finish off um smoothing out this little piece there on all eight sides four sides eight sides and then we need to decorate this thing so we got to find a coloring scheme and put some really crazy lights on it um, I want to use some programming here so that we can make the lights. I don't know. Whenever I go to a theme park um, at night, the lights are always crazy. So, like, you know, it's lit, but then they kind of travel the length of these things. So you can kind of get this, like, I don't know, sunfire effect where it kind of emanates out from the center. So I'm going to try. I'm going to attempt to do that. Um, I haven't given myself a lot of place to put lights here. Let's see. Where did I have lights? I think I've gotten rid of them. Uh, put my fingers on the right place. Um, I've got corner lights, hanging lights. <laughs> let's try a corner light. And let's try an interior light. That's the extreme interior light. So, I, uh, yeah, I could put it like every, every one. It won't be centered, but be there what about the corner lights where would they attach oh that might actually look better can I control the, the color of corner lights because I could put one there let's get back into first person mode here oh this is really trippy of this thing rotating around I apologize guys if you are getting sick watching this but yeah and then we could put one maybe like on this side it'll be there oops not way over there and then there and there something like that I'll figure it out so they look kind of kind of round and then yeah let's see can you control the colors and turn them on and off that's that's how we're gonna be able you know if we can code against them so we've got corner lights. Yep, you can control the color. So I can I can make this thing change colors, and then um, I can make it brighter or not, and I can turn it on or off. 
So at nighttime, this thing is just going to look amazing as the lights kind of start at the center and emanate outward uh, on the starburst pattern. And then, yeah, it's going to look really cool. So, yeah, give me a sec to, to set some of that up. At least, let me, nope, um, oh, did we crash? I think we crashed. <laughs> Good thing I saved it. Um, yeah, but I'll, I'll get everything set up um, so that we can start programming and painting. I think I'm going to go with a red color scheme here on the big wheel and then the supports I'm not sure yet so be right back when I've um, come up with a, a good looking paint scheme okay guys we're back at everything smoothed out got some lights put on and I even put in some scaffolding down here so you actually could get onto the uh, the other the ones at 30 and 60 degrees um, it's tough I put um, a block here and it destroyed it and fell apart uh, tried a half slab that worked but you still really had to jump to get on anyway so safety is not going to be a number one concern at my park you just have to jump <laughs> i don't think it's lined up very well right now one if this thing's lined up perfectly at zero or 90 or or six or 180 270 that kind of thing then these line up better with the scaffolding um so let's paint this thing oh i wanted to mention the lights uh, as far as programming um we might have a little bit of a problem just a little one Uh, 225 lights. <laughs> and I didn't keep any uh, numbering scheme whatsoever. So it would be very, very difficult to uh, figure out which ones are on the outside, which ones are on the struts, to line them up. So they, uh, I don't know, I might do that eventually. I, maybe not. <laughs> so let's, let's paint her. Um, get her painted up. So all the classic Ferris wheels, at least uh, around me, are completely white. Um, let's see, can we go all the way white? Yeah, on the uh, this thing. So we're gonna have to. Gonna take a while to paint all this, but we can do it. So that'll all be white. Just kind of show that. And then I'm going to have the main supports be some kind of like a, almost like a copper color. So let's get, we don't want it too orange. We want it red, but less, less saturation. Let's see how that looks. Okay. It's close to what I want. I think I want a little bit more red in that. Let's take it to zero hue. That oh, didn't really do much at all. Ah, that'll do. So we'll paint this guy. Re completely red. I should have had <laughs> that on. Oh well. And a little bit more at the top. Oh, come on. Hit that middle one. Hit it. There we go. Okay. And I've got the, the Ferris wheel's got um, symmetry on as well. So it should, should be easy to paint that. So I'll have big red struts, big white Ferris wheel. And then the cars, I want to kind of have random colors almost. Not completely random, but just some more whimsical so let's get like a, a yellow car like that and should we do like every third car yellow so it looks like everyone that's at the the 90 degrees will be yellow so you be yellow too please okay Ouch. <laughs> uh, where's the next one? This one. And then the one up top. And then let's do a like a green one. And I might do a little bit different uh, like seat colors later, but let's just get the gin. Pretty much everything 
paint it a solid color for now. Oh, that painted the whole thing. That's nice. And then maybe a blue one. And I think that will do it for our Ferris wheel. Um, what are some other things we need? We need a const control station for whatever operator is running the Ferris wheel. With some buttons to stop it, start it, speed it up, slow it down, maybe something like that. So we'll definitely get that. And then we'll need a queue for the people to be in line. So let's see. Let's turn symmetry off so I can actually see. Yeah, that looks good. I think it's going to look good when it's all white. So, we want the control guy to be able to see. Uh, he can be over here on this side, looking... Maybe, maybe let's put him right here. So, how do we want to do this? The, let's see, uh, as far as buttons, maybe button panels first. Um, what do we got? Two buttons, two buttons... Oh, the three button's kind of cool. Um, elevator pad? I don't know what that one is. Uh, I want a four button panel. Not eight. Come on, where's it just a four? I guess if you want four buttons, you have to use... Oh, there we go. Four button panel. Okay. Oh, that looks horrible. <laughs> it's all tiny. Ah. There's nothing like it looked like in the picture. Okay, well, that's out. Um, let's see what that one looks like now. So I think we're just going to go with the vanilla button panel here. So let's put that right here. And then... Let's give him, let's see, how do I want to make it, I saw these fences, but I don't know if these are going to look right. Yeah, <laughs> that might work for the queuing system, actually. Maybe we'll use those, okay. So we need something else to kind of surround him. Oh, maybe with these half cover walls, yeah. These would be perfect if they would um, move out of the way, like open up almost. Well, they actually, I might leave that there. Although it makes it really hard to get in and out. <laughs> yeah, very tough to get in and out of, so let's not worry about that. All right, give me uh, another wall, full cover wall here. And we'll just surround the worker. All right, he can be in there, whatever. Now to get on the ride. Should we put more? Whoa, not that. Maybe something like that. So that you can't uh Arm yourself. Okay. Oh, this is like way off this platform here. Should go to here. No, not up, not up. There we go. Hey, I didn't, I didn't tell you to paint that that color. There we go. So the people will walk by. Let's let's try that fence again. Fence gate. Fence corner, fence straight, battery recharge, construction area, restricted area, high voltage, keep out. That's, those are cool. All right. So let's get that one. Actually, let's get to a, one we have more. There. So seven. Right there. Oh, that, this looks really cool. I love this this mod, or this guy's set of mods anyway. Now, are we going to be able to make this look like a queue? 
Let's say you come in... I don't know, right here. Oops, need that to be a corner. Yeah, this one I'm afraid of. It's going to make me... Well, it might not. I need like a T intersection gate. Something like that. Should do one, one more switchback. Like that. Yeah, I think that's good. And then you just go get on. Um, yeah, this will be the employee entrance. All right, guys, she is all painted and ready for her first maiden trip. Let's go ahead and take a ride on my Space Engineer's Ferris wheel. I think it turned out great. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, we'll go ahead and end the episode here as we uh, just ride it around one time. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Don't forget to like, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, see more, and we'll see you next time. Catch you later. Bye.